Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, what's up? My name is Jenny Sapon, and on my channel, I do a lot of reviews and how-tos. So if you love both of those, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you're a returning viewer and you have not hit subscribed, what are you waiting for? This is your sign. <laughs> um, but today on my channel, I'll be doing a quick get ready with me, a lazy girl style and a quick giveaway also. So if you're interested to see how I created this look and want to enter in the giveaway, just keep on watching. All right, so this makeup look is for those who you know, prefer sleep a little more and do not want to get out of bed super early and get ready and do their makeup. I personally love waking up and do my makeup, but the past couple of weeks has just been kind of rough and it's like hard to get out of bed. I don't want to get up and when I do get home from work, I just want to eat and go to bed. So I've learned to master this look and it also ties in with my giveaway. So I figured why not just tie it all into one video and yeah. So I have already prepped and primed my face off camera. I will link all the products I used down below and my skin is just kind of going through it right now. It's a little red um, just because it's so cold outside and my skin is just so dry and I've neglected my skincare. So it's kind of showing that I've neglected my skincare. I'm going to be jumping in with the Rare Beauty Foundation. This is shade 250. And I love this foundation, especially for my lazy days because the doe foot applicator is so huge and I can just put foundation everywhere and then just blend it all out without having to like worry about a pump. Um, and I can also just concentrate on areas that I need to focus on, especially my redness. And then I just, I'm just using my e.l.f. beauty sponge just to blend all of this out. So I prefer a little more full coverage and so I'm going to go back in again and add a little more. You can stop wherever but I prefer more full coverage just because I have redness, especially during the colder season and I have freckles that I do not like to show. I mean, no hate towards anyone that have freckles. I just don't like them on me. So that's why I prefer full coverage. You can't really tell, like you have to be staring at my face in person to like see the freckles, but on camera or from far away, you can't see the freckles. Okay, so moving on to concealer, I'm using two of them. I know it's kind of excessive, but the first one I'm going to be using is the Hourglass Concealer. It's the Vanish Concealer in the shade Fawn. So I guess I'll give you guys a little life update. Um, anyone in my personal life knows, but um, I got promoted at work and it's just been pretty stressful. And that's why I said the past couple of weeks, my life has just been hectic. I've been kind of learning this new role and there's just so much. I don't want to bore you guys with little details, but slowly but surely I will get the hang of it and I won't have to stress as much. Also, I have an editor now. His name is Joe. So everyone say hi to Joe in the comment section down below or give this video a thumbs up if you like his editing skills or comment down below and say hey. Either one. So the next one is going to be the Rare Beauty in the shade 210 Neutral. And the reason why I'm wearing two concealers is because I feel like the Vanish concealer is very close to my skin color. And I use this 210N just to brighten it up just a little bit. I love 
be bright and dry. I don't know if you guys know that by now. If you're new and to my channel, I love a bright under eye. And if you're not, you probably know that by now. So once I'm rubbing this Rare Beauty Concealer out, I'm putting that over my eyelids as well. Just because I'm too late, especially in the morning time when I'm rushing, I won't have time to apply primer. So I would just use concealer as my primer. It still works the same. Not really, but whatever. So moving on to bronzer, I'll be using the Chanel Le Beige bronzer. I always, I want to call it the um, Soleil Tan de Chanel because that was what it was originally called, but they changed the name and I like stutter and stumble every time. Okay, so next I'm gonna take, so going in with my e.l.f. beauty sponge, I'm just going to blend out any harsh lines or just marry my concealer and bronzer together just so that I don't have any harsh lines. You guys, I filmed this, this is my second time filming this look. I was filming this last night and I was having such a hard time and it got to the point where my battery died. Okay, so I'm going to set everything. I'm using the Prism Powder by Givenchy, and I can't tell if I like this powder or not. It's extremely overpriced. Like, this is what it looks like. It's like, there's like four different shades, and each shade is supposed to like do something, either brighten, even out your skin color, but I don't know if it does anything. Oh, and it mattifies you, but I can't. But I can't tell if I'm like obsessed with it or not. It, like I said, is extremely overpriced and I don't know. I'm not blown away by it. I mean, I guess I do stay pretty matte all day, but I'm, I don't get oily. Like I'm not an oily person, but I do sweat a lot and my makeup doesn't stay as long as it should. So I'm not prepping properly. So I don't know, I need to give this like a fair try before I hate on it, I guess. So next onto bronzer. So I'm using the Jouer bronzer in medium to deep duo. And I just mix the two shades. Okay, so next um, for my blush, I'm gonna be using the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism blush. This is completely out of stock, so I'm sorry for using it. I think Manny is working on trying to do a restock, so maybe keep an eye on it, but I love this thing. And I'm gonna use these two shades to mix and get the perfect shade. Okay, so for highlight, I will be using, so here it is. Okay. So for a highlight, I'll be using the shade Cookie by Benefit. Okay, so now moving on to eyes. I'm gonna be using the Jeffree Star Orgy palette and I'm going to use this bone colored shadow in the shade I'm Shy just to set down the concealer or just to set down so that my the rest of the shadow have something to hold on to. And moving on to my transition shade, I'm using the shade Top, so that's the shade right here. This is like the perfect transition shade because it's so close to my skin tone. And I'm just going to blend this in windshield wiper motions and I'm just building up the color. Oh yeah, my brush is RC15 by Beauty Creations. Next, I'll be using my JS6 brush and I'm going in with the shade Booby Trap, so it's like a chocolate brown shade. And I'm just deepening out the outer V. Oh, shit. 
I was a little heavy handed. These shades are super creamy and I forget and I'm so heavy handed. So I'm just deepening the outer V and I'm bringing it a little bit into the crease. Taking the same shade, I'm going to line my lower lash line. Sorry if this creeps anyone out. I think for the longest time, it would always scare me. I feel like I'm going to poke my eyeballs out, but I learned to master this. Okay. So for the rest of my lid colors, like usually I'm in a rush and I'm really lazy, I would just take my highlight shade again and just swipe it across the lid. All right, so now moving on to the fun part. I used to love wearing lashes. Like I love wearing lashes, but um, messing with that glue is just not the business. Like I would be so frustrated every morning just because the glue is just so hard to work with. So I discovered this, which is a Silly George Lash Adhesive Eyeliner Liner Bond. And it has become the best thing ever. And it makes getting ready in the morning super easy. And I do have a discount code and I also do get commission off of it if you do use my code it's jenny sapon 15 and i don't know so i'm filming this before thanksgiving so my code might not work by the time this video is posted because they will i will have a certain link that you can use to go through that way they're keeping track of like referrals but if the link doesn't work you can always just use my code but yeah, it's super easy. I love using this because you don't have to fuss with glue. It's just like a regular eyeliner. It goes on like a regular eyeliner and you can use any lash strip. You don't have to use their brand, but if you want to, you can. Today I'll be using the Tati Lashes in TL19. I'm just gonna draw my liner on real quick. And then you just take the lash strip. I swear it doesn't have any glue. I'm legit just pulling it off right now. And I just bend it a little bit just to give a little more shape. And I just stick it on. Just like that. It is so easy. I will do my other eye off camera and my lips and I'll be right back. So this is the completed makeup look. As always, I will list everything in the description box down below if you're curious to see or just forgot what I was using or you want to just reference back later on, you can just check that box out. And if you're still watching this video, you are amazing. And let's get started with the giveaway details. All right. So if you're wondering why I look completely different, that is because I have to refilm the giveaway portion all over again. And I just got off work, so this is exactly how I look like. And I figured, you know what, if I change, I'm not gonna film this portion. So I decided just to sit down in front of my camera and <laughs> get started. Um, my face makeup pretty much is the same as the routine I showed you. I'm just not wearing any eye makeup because my eyes have been hurting the past few days and I've been rubbing them so I'm, I don't want to wear any eye makeup and I've just been wearing my glasses. So yeah, let's move on with the giveaway before I get distracted. When Silly George reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do a giveaway with my followers, I said, heck yes, why not? Because I love their products and I want to make sure that you guys get to try them out. I mean, I rave about them and you guys are probably thinking this girl makes commission off of it. So of course she's gonna rave about it. No, they're really amazing and I want to give one of you guys a chance to try out their products. The giveaway is worth $70. They have five style of lashes. So you get to pick one out of the five. You will get a Silly George Liner Bond Lash Adhesive Eyeliner, a pair of tweezers, and a set of scissors. 
that is what is included in the giveaway. And the giveaway will run from December 7th through December 11th, and I will pick a winner at 8 p.m. on Friday, December 11th. Hang on, is it? Yeah. December 11th on Friday at 8 p.m. And here are the rules. I will put them all down in my description bar down below. If you forget or if I'm talking way too fast and you can't follow along or I don't know, but um, you must follow me on Instagram and you must subscribe to me on YouTube and you have to follow Celia George Official on Instagram. You must be engaging in all my videos and my pictures and comment everything and make sure you use the hashtag giveaway with Jenny Sapon. That way I know how to track you. And if you have Instagram, you go ahead and share any of my videos or pictures that I post during that week and make sure you tag me and use the hashtag giveaway with Jenny Sapon. That way you can get an extra bonus entry. But those are only the rules and good luck. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Bye guys. Thank you.